Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Inês, I'm an artist and illustrator and in today's video I'm going to talk about my favorite art supplies. So, uh, in this video I'm going to show you the different types of art supplies that I've loved for so many years and also my most recent discoveries that have really uh, made a difference in my whole process, painting process, sketching process and I thought I would share with you, so if you are interested to see what my favorite art supplies are, keep watching the video. So, I'm going to start today to talk about my Moleskine sketchbook. This sketchbook is really nice because it has like quite a good um, thickness in paper. I love the fact that it's not pure white. Uh, it's, it has a tone to it, it's like a, a yellowish kind of tone to the paper and I prefer this uh, to uh, actual like pure white. Uh, I think it looks much warmer and I really really do like it. I use this to do a lot of sketching, uh, put down my ideas, do actually almost finished paintings and then just, just uh, share it on social media afterwards. So it's quite a versatile uh, type of sketchbook. The only thing I think it's something that you should consider is the fact that even though it's like quite a thick paper and it was works very well with washes of india ink and all of that it's not good when you are using uh, alcohol uh, based uh, markers because it transfers so for instance in this painting i finished it digitally afterwards but i started by using a few markers and basically transfers only the part with the alcohol uh, based markers so that's something to keep in mind if you use uh, india ink or washes of windy ink it really works well uh, and it doesn't transfer but when you use uh, alcohol based markers it's not the best but overall like it's my go-to i use like a few of these i continuously get more because like it's just such a nice size it's amazing i really recommend this next is another sketchbook that i've been loving and you probably know what i'm talking about because i'm always referencing this is basically the render sketchbook from crescent this uh, sketchbook is really nice uh, this is a bigger sketchbook so uh, i use this more to do like proper spreads in uh, a sketchbook, not only to explore ideas, but to ex to do like character sheets and exp uh, character exploration as well. And this one, contrary to the moleskin one, this one works really well with alcohol-based markers. Like it doesn't transfer. If you use it, it just doesn't show in the other page. So like for instance, this last uh, piece that I've done, uh, in the other side is completely like not noticeable and it's really nice uh, I couldn't be more happy with it it's quite a thick paper as well uh, it works really well it, with different mediums the tone of the paper it's a bit more uh, I would say uh, white but with a grayish undertone so it's not as warm as the moleskin one but for what I want, it's like, it's really amazing and I really, really, I'm in love with it. So, really recommend this. The only thing I don't like too much is because like it shows, it looks a bit dirty just by using it. But I don't mind it too much as well, like it's, the important part is inside. So, yeah, I'm really, really loving this. So, yeah, another great favorite. This one is not a sketchbook, even though I have a version of this. Uh, in a sketchbook form, which is the toned grey mixed media from from Strathmore. This one is really nice because I really do like to draw over uh, a toned paper. When you have a, a white background, like a, a white paper, you cannot really go lighter than that. You have to use the, the actual white from the paper. And I do like the fact that I can add white to this because it allows me to create more volume. So this one is a, the grey tone, it's a really nice paper, like it's really thick, I think it's um, 300 grams. It's mixed media, so you can work with water-based uh, mediums, you can use gouache uh, or even acrylics, and it's really really nice. I've used this in a, a previous video as well, and yeah, it really, like you can use markers as well with it, and it really soaks up 
well the, the ink and it works really really well. Uh, moving on to fine liners, this specific product is something that has been in my life since I was in university and I really do love it and I keep using it and keep buying more, which is my Pigma Micron pens uh, from Sakura. Uh, I remember um, a teacher of mine recommended this to us. I studied design, so I used this to do like technical drawing, and from that, like I used it to do normal drawing and character design and all of that because it's really nice because it has like a wide range of different types of fine liners, um, like different thicknesses. So this range, uh, it's really good because uh, I can use different types of pens for different purposes. And also it says here that for drawing, it's for drawing, writing and illustrating, both technical and artistic, as I was saying, so it's perfect. And the unique Sakura Pigma ink will not bleed through paper, it's permanent, waterproof, fade resistant, quick drying and pH neutral. It includes a Pigma Micron PN. And this Pigma Micron PN, which I didn't use before I bought this set, uh, it's the one that I used in the past video, and it allows me to um, vary in thickness. It's quite similar to my Pigma FP, in a way, but it's more controlled. So uh, I really love uh, Sakura uh, fine liners. One of my favorite uh, art supplies, and I keep using it, and I will keep using it in the future. Now, moving on to markers. Uh, I have a few favorites, actually I really do like them and they are the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor markers. They come in so many different shades and uh, undertones and I really like to use these when I'm doing like sketching and I want to create volume and it's really really nice uh, watercolor markers. And I also have like the Ecoline brush pen watercolor markers which are very similar, I wouldn't say it's not very different, I think like maybe the, the tip is a bit different, but like in the end it's basically the same, so the Ecoline were, are also nice, but to use with any of these, and I really do like this and I've, I've raved about this in the past videos as well, it's the Ecoline Blender. Like this changed the game for me in terms of painting with markers because like I was always afraid to add ink and just ruin the drawing and this has saved me from doing that like several times because like you can put down paint and then you can just use this to like make it seamless and uh, more of a gradient so like yeah, I really 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 do like this I think it's amazing uh, I recommend this Probably there's a lot of blenders with uh, from another brands, maybe even better than this one, but this one has been working really well for me and um, I couldn't recommend it more because I really do like, like it. It's one of my favorite discoveries from this year uh, and I couldn't like it more than I do because I love it. Now I'm gonna talk about some brush pens that I do like very much that are indie ink brush pens uh, from Japan that are the Pentel uh, brush pens they have really nice ink and uh, it's really opaque, really black they work as a brush pen so it's like almost you are using a brush but because they're very ergonomic and feel like a pen it's for me it's easier to be more steady and control my movements better the only downside to these, uh, in my opinion, is they bleed sometimes a bit uh, and the, um, the ink comes out from this space, but I'm not really sure if that's the problem of the pen or mine. And maybe I didn't do it in the best way possible, but see, I'm already like with a bit of ink in my hands. If you are an artist, it's part of the job, I guess, but yeah, I do love these pens. Moving on to acrylic wash, a discovery from this year as well, and Liquitex acrylic washes are really good. I haven't tried the Old Bain acrylic gouaches that I know are really good as well, but like these ones, I really love them. I've done a few paintings already and experimented with them, and it's it's really great there's a, a big range of different colors so it's one of my favorite discoveries of this year as well and i really do love this very very much 
For another discovery that uh, I've done this year, like this year has been uh, interesting in terms of uh, knowing new types of art supplies and new types of mediums because I think like that's what lockdown does to us. So for me it was really interesting to buy and try these ones. So I used in my first uh, ever YouTube video, I used this, I, I made like the first impressions video and the first time using these water mixable oils and they are really really nice i do lo love it very much i've been using a few times not a lot i want to use it more but from the times that i've used it i'm really in love with this because just the fact that you have only to use water to mix with this it's just mind-blowing for me i still can't believe that we only have to use um water with oils that that doesn't sound right but it is what it is and it really works well it's not exactly like normal oils it doesn't behave exactly that's the same but the results are quite similar and um, if I have to choose between these and normal oils to use on a regular basis I would use these because uh, even though there's a bit of a learning curve with it like I think the benefits of using something that is not too toxic for you the results you cannot really tell and i really do love these it's one of my favorite discoveries of this year uh, i loved using this and i want to use it more and let me know if you want me to do more videos on it because i sure wouldn't mind and yeah, uh, these were my favorite art supplies at the moment. Let me know if you have art supplies that I haven't talked about that you really, really do love and you would like me to try. I'm always looking for new types of uh, art supplies that I could experiment with and I'm always looking for new things. So it would be amazing if you had any suggestions. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!